Hello all, welcome to part 9 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I am going to practically demonstrate how to install Cucumber Eclipse IDE plugin. So let's get started. So how to install this Cucumber Eclipse IDE plugin? If you remember the previous session, okay, we created a feature file without having this Cucumber Eclipse IDE plugin and we got some error, right? We are unable to open the feature files that got created in Eclipse IDE and we are getting an error while trying to open application not found kind of error we are getting in the previous session. So we are going to overcome this problem, okay, of opening and running this feature file, okay, that happened in the previous session because of an error by installing this Cucumber Eclipse IDE plugin in this session, okay. Here you can see the login.feature file. If I try to open application not found error is coming. The reason behind that is that Cucumber Eclipse ID plugin is not available, okay? The Cucumber tool is required to recognize these feature files, okay? For installing that Cucumber tool, we have to install that Cucumber Eclipse ID plugin in this Eclipse ID. Eclipse ID doesn't come with this Cucumber Eclipse ID plugin by default. We have to install it manually. So how to install in Eclipse ID? The simplest way to install Cucumber Eclipse ID plugin in Eclipse ID is click on Help and select Eclipse Marketplace. And in this display dialog of Eclipse Marketplace, just, okay, just give it some time and uh, you'll get a search box field here. And in the search box field, search for Cucumber. Just search for simple Cucumber, guys, okay? You don't have to do much. Just search for Cucumber. And in the search results of this Eclipse uh, Marketplace, you'll get this Cucumber Eclipse plugin, okay? And you see, you, you are getting this install button because this plugin is not coming by default. You have to install it manually here. Okay, just click on install guys. In a while, Cucumber Eclipse plugin will get installed. Okay, installation pending and it's getting installed. Let's wait. Yeah, so it's asking there are no licenses to review. Either the software does not specify license or the license has already been reviewed or approved, whatever it is. Uh, if you are getting some license agreement, select agree to the license agreement. Otherwise, click on finish guys. Okay, that's it. You see the software is getting installed. It's asking us whether you can trust or not. Always trust all content you have to select and select. Yes, I accept the risk and click on trust selected. The software will complete installation now and uh, it may ask you to restart your Eclipse ID. Okay, after it is done. Let's wait. It's almost there. Yeah, now it's asking you to restart the Eclipse ID. Click on restart now. In a while, the Eclipse ID will get restarted. And uh, after restarting, we'll, we'll be able to see some difference in the feature file that we have created earlier. We should get an icon of Cucumber to resonate that uh, the Cucumber tool is now recognizing the feature file, okay? So let's see what will happen after we launch the Eclipse ID, okay? Fine, Eclipse ID is launching, guys. Eclipse ID is launching. Starting Eclipse ID. So it has launched, okay? Eclipse ID has launched, guys. Uh, now let's expand this project to see. One minute. It's taking something. Let's wait. Sometimes it happens. Once it is done, let's open this. You see this time the login.feature file looks a bit different and it comes with a Cucumber icon. You see, this is the logo of the Cucumber plugin, guys. Okay, Cucumber logo, okay? A cut piece of cucumber, you can say in real time, real world. Okay. So that is our actually logo of that logo or icon of the cucumber Eclipse ID plugin tool. And cucumber is now recognizing this login.feature file. Earlier, before we have installed cucumber Eclipse ID plugin, uh, there was no, this, this kind of icon was not there. Okay. This kind of icon was not there. So just double click on this login.feature. And this time you are not getting error and you are getting some text, guys. Okay. Some text you are getting by default. Okay. Some feature keywords are coming from Gherkin language. Okay. All these things are coming. So I'll remove all this stuff. Okay. So at least uh, we have installed Eclipse, uh, uh, Cucumber Eclipse ID plugin in this session. I'll remove all this content, guys. In the next session, I'll, I'll show you how to, okay. Uh, I'll show you how to create the feature files and then run. Okay. After installing the Cucumber Eclipse ID plugin, then how to write the uh, scenarios into the feature file that I'm going to show or provide practically in the next session. Okay. Creating 
scenarios in teacher file and run run them this is what i am going to do in the next session guys okay we'll go step by step guys every session i am explaining something new okay step by step we are learning the stuff in this uh, current session i have shown you how to install cucumber eclipse id plugin uh, after installation you can clearly see that okay i'll not uh, let's see Oops. okay you see it's still there we'll we'll clear this in the next session and then write our own feature file okay that i'll demonstrate in the next session okay so at least in this session we have installed the cucumber eclipse id plugin and uh, which was recognizing after installing you see the cucumber eclipse id plugin is uh, recognizing the login dot feature file uh, which uh, how can we be sure here the icon is coming cucumber icon is coming that proves that cucumber eclipse id cucumber is able to recognize the feature file okay fine so that's all for this session guys see you in the next session thank you bye